and good afternoon from a sunny Afton. Um, just put together my doublet antenna, which is an inverted V, uh, 44 feet, that's 220 foot, 22 foot lengths of wire. Uh, I've sort of copied kind of the idea from the Norkel doublet, that's N-O-R-C-A-L, which uses computer ribbon for the whole thing, but I've used some more sort of traditional materials. So uh, let's have a look and I'll show you a rather Heath Robinson build that I put together. So first of all, you can see the top there of the inverted V, the apex. It's about 22 feet up on a uh, 7 meter pole. One leg going to there, that's right on the border of my property. And the other one's going into a, you can see the yellow line going down there. Yep, there you go. That's the uh, pole just behind there. That's all it is. And then to feed the actual uh, rig, what we've got is some four, sorry, 350, sorry, 300 even, ohm ladder line. Now I've cut it for about 50 feet to try to avoid certain lengths to try and make a tune as best you can. And from 40 to 10, the only band she has trouble with in tuning is 12 meters. But I'm not, oh sorry, uh, yes, 12 meters. But I'm not bothered about that, I have to say. She tunes well on 40, 20, 15, 17, and 10. Um, so I've had to accommodate this a little bit because I haven't got 50 feet to play with. So I've got it sort of going in, going out. So it eventually runs. Let me show you. Excuse the state of the garden. You can see that she uh, she runs in and out of the mesh. A couple of times around the tree. Into a four to one ballon, because I haven't got a balanced tuner. And then very short jumper into the back of the tuner there. And it's the rig. And that's it. That's all the uh, space I have. Now looking at this support here, you can see it's just about hanging down a little bit from the pole. I've got even less room here because unfortunately this shed is in the middle of where it would be equidistant between the two sides of the garden. So. This one, but two thirds of the wire is in the air, and the final third is hanging down. Now I've got to make that more child friendly by insulating that probably with some pipe so it goes up about to that height there. So some PVC pipe will do that. But uh, there you go, and that's, that's the centre of the doublet there. Okay. So I'm going to hopefully have some footage in a minute of me actually using this thing and getting one or two QSLs. Let's see how she works. Okay, just a quick update on the doublet. So, um, made some contacts into Germany, Austria, Italy. Nothing too extensive. The bands are pretty, uh, pretty woeful at the moment. Um, just going to show you quickly how to tune this thing. Now, you can use different tuners. You can use sort of... Um, called balanced tuners where the line comes straight into the tuner and they could be manual which means you have to turn a few knobs to tune it into that frequency or you could use more um, more automatic type tuners now I haven't got a balanced line into my little Z817 which is designed primarily to use with the FT817 but can also use it with the with other rings like the 85, uh, 857D and I'll show you how in a minute now um, because it doesn't have a balanced line, I have to feed it through a, a ballon from the doublet, which isn't ideal, but um, lots of people do it. And uh, provided your coax run is fairly short, mine is about, uh, I don't know what it is, about a metre and a half, then um, that's not too bad. Okay, so we're on 20, now we want to go to 40. So what we do, lock it down to 40. Now, obviously you want to tune into that band, so we'll just pick a, uh, a frequency that's clear. So it's fairly clear. Okay, 
So what we do, we uh, basically up at the tuner here. First of all, though, we knock it into something like FM, which will, which will produce a carrier. Turn off them. And then making sure we're pumping as low power as possible. So I'm on 10 watts because I'm a foundation holder. So I'll knock that down to 5, which is the lowest I can have. So I'll just make sure everything's quite low. Then go into the tuner. You, uh, this is where I've got to be sort of uh, one hand man here. So I've got the mic ready. So what it is, you press tune, and as soon as you press tune, you press the key on the mic. So once that mic goes red there, that's a green light, and it's tuned. Okay, because it's already tuned. If I press, press that quickly, SWR's flat. And the good thing about it is, you can then use it anywhere on the band. So if I just go back on the top end of, uh, of uh, 40 there, Knock this down to say, all the way down the band, clear frequency, flat SWR. If I go down to not that far, again, flat D. Flat well, a tiny bit of SWR, it's hardly anything, it's about 1.2 to 1. So there you go. So the good thing is, one of the things I had, problems I had about doing a doublet initially, is I thought that if you tuned on a, I don't know, a mid part of the band, you'd have to have to retune every time you moved a few KCs. It's the case with manual tuners, but um, well, I've been told it's the case with manual tuners, with a band slime going in. But not with a, a tuner like this. Now there are some tuners, automatic tuners, which allow a band slime to go in, and uh, that'll be uh, probably in the letter to Santa Claus for one of those. Um, but uh, for now, it'll do. It's doing the job. Anyway, 73s, and hopefully I'll find some QSOs to show you later as well. Um, let's see if we can. Oh, bye bye. May I have your call again, please? Your call, QSL. Yes, my call is QSL. QSL, congratulations on the portable. Congratulations on your uh, signal, my friend. 73s, have a great day. Uh, Castle Martin area initially and on my father's side. And uh, I was born and brought up in the town of Llanelli and uh, lived a long time in the village of Pembrey, Alan, QSL. QSL, Tim, uh, received a little bit of noise there. Uh, the news that I got, got everything you said. Yeah, of course, familiar with all of those locations. Um, I'm, I'm fairly central to some of those, actually, and only really just out of the county of Pembrokeshire where I am here. Um, but, uh, Yes, Roger, Roger, Alan, all received. Uh, still a beautiful signal, you're 9 plus 10 dB now. Yeah, um, well, my setup here, I'm in the county of Sussex, uh, near the town of Arundel, near Chichester as well, on the south coast. Uh, running the obligatory 10 watts into a doublet antenna, inverted V, just 44 feet in length because of the uh, size of my garden. And uh, using a 4 to 1 ballon to feed the uh, the twin, twin lead into the... Uh, into the tuner, so um, all a bit rudimentary, a bit Heath Robinson, but uh, glad to see you get a, a bit, you know, getting a bit of into G into Wales. You're the you're the first time I've actually got into Wales from here, so uh, a bit of a nice moment for me, Alan. <laughs> so I trust you copied that. Uh, Two whiskey zero Lima Victor Echo for Mike Six Ju Juliet Victor India. Elevated quarter wave vertical uh, with just three three uh, 
radials coming out, uh, and the 50 watts on my side is from a Yaesu FT 450 Delta, running the 450D here on, a, uh, on the original microphone. Uh, but certainly working, you're holding steady, Tim. Um, not here to 5.9, but you've, you've never gone below a, a sort of 5.6, 5.7, so uh, making it really easy my side there. Yes, M6 JVI returning. Yes, copy that, Alan. Just dropping down to 5.8, but still very, very uh, readable there. Yeah, I was a bit afraid this wouldn't tune up on 40, but um, glad it does. And uh, yeah, just using a little uh, Z817 tuner, but in conjunction with my 857D. So um, yeah, good job. Um, I've got a 450D, yet to really use her, but uh, I gather she's a very good rig. So yeah, your audio is excellent, to Alan. Uh, Alan, if you don't mind, if you don't mind me doing this, I'm um, I'm collecting one or two examples of QSOs for my YouTube channel. It's on my uh, under my call sign M6JVI. Uh, if you are agreeable, uh, if you are agreeable, I quite I quite like to use this as an example of uh, how to set up a small, you know, an antenna in a small garden there. So if you're agreeable to that, Alan, I'd like to put an example of the Q just part of the QSO on the on, on the YouTube channel. It's under M6JVI, and uh, you should be able to find it if you wish to watch it, Alan. Uh, 2W0LVE from M6JVI. Yeah, M6JVI, 2W0LVE. Uh, any other stations tuning or wishing to use the frequency, it is uh, occupied and very much in use. Um, yeah, no problem, Tim. I caught most of that. Roger, Roger, you are 59 plus 10 dB, QSL. So, QSL, so 59 also, 59, thank you very much. My name is Costa, Charlie Oscar, Silver Tango Alpha, transmitting from Seoul, uh, Seoul, uh, Seoul Macedonia, uh, Hori the Lake. Thank you very much, 73. Roger, Roger, congratulations on your uh, setup there, sir. 73s, have a good day. Roger, Roger, Michael. Good afternoon. My handle is Tim. Tango, uh, sorry, Tango India Mike. Tango India Mike, running five watts from a Fox Tango eight one seven into a short doublet antenna, and you are a steady five and eight, five and eight into Southern England. QSL. QSL. Thanks for the five and eight. Okay, my friend. Many thanks for the short QSL. I wish you all the best. Good luck with you. Mike said Juliet Victoria India through QRP Echo with K Mexico seventy three. Seventy three is my friend, thank you. 